For thousands of years, humans and horses have had a unique bond. So strong is the bond that we have mythological creatures and beasts in the shape of horses. The Kelpie is not to be mistaken for the hippie campy that pulls Neptune's or Poseidon's chariot. The Kelpie is not like the lucky magical unicorn or the hippogriff, the strange hippogriff. The Scottish legend of the Kelpie, a malevolent beast that takes on the form of a horse. The Kelpie lives in the Scottish locks, deep down in the water, unseen and hidden. He can be found in rivers, streams and even the sea. The Kelpie can shapeshift into a human, usually a man, but sometimes a woman. Once on the back of a Kelpie, you will be taken with great speed to the bottom of the water where you will be met with a watery ending. The Kelpie stories, there are many. Let me tell you some of the mysterious tales that might send shivers down your spine. Robbie Burns wrote a poem called Address to the Deal which means address to the devil about the Kelpie in his poem. The story of the fairy ball and the Kelpie. A long time ago, a family were farming the land by a long, narrow lock in Scotland. They knew the stories of the lockside, so they weren't concerned when one of their herd gave birth to a calf that was much bigger than all the others and was very fiery and bad-tempered. Fairy bulls would sometimes get in amongst the crofters' cows and their fairy blood was welcomed by the herds. The farmer tried so hard to tame the bull but he had this terrible temper and he just kept growling and getting bigger and bigger and kept eating so much food. The farmer put him in the pen and tried to tame him as much as he could, but failed. One day, the crofter's daughter was walking by the lock side, a day that she would never, ever forget. On this day, she was walking on the path in the woods, close by the lock, a journey she knew so well, but this day she was going to encounter a stranger, a young man she had never seen before. As she walks along closer towards the man, he approaches her and he says, excuse me, lady, do you have a comb that I may use to comb my hair? She noticed he's smartly dressed and has a long mane of hair. She says, yes, I do, and produces the comb from her apron and gives it to the man. And then he says, would you mind combing the tangles out of my hair? I can't quite manage it. So she takes the comb and starts to comb the tangles out of his hair. As she does so, she notices that there is weed in his hair, seaweed. Oh, this is no man. This is a Kelpie. By now, the man's head is deep into her lap. So she slowly combs the hair and starts to sing a lullaby. And after some time, he falls asleep. So she undoes her apron and slowly backs away from the man. She starts running fast towards the farmhouse. Scared, she feels a shiver down her spine because she hears hooves behind her, coming closer and closer. She can't outrun a horse. She sees the farm. She manages to open the barn doors where the fairy ball is and she opens it and hides behind it, cowering. The bull bellowed and the horse screamed and they bit and they kicked and they reared 
and the Kelpie forgot all about the girl and she ran home as fast as she could, the noise of the fight fading behind her. She was now safe back at the croft and she looked round and all she could see was the Kelpie and the bull tossing like this, ferociously going towards the lock. And they went into the lock, splash! And there was silence. They were gone, never to be seen again. When a Kelpie's towel strikes the water, it sounds like thunder and he disappears in a flash of light. If you were by the water's edge and you hear wailing and howling really loud and wonder, where is it coming from? It could be a Kelpie deep down in the water hearing the thunder and lightning. They can take on the form of the most beautiful horse that they choose. A Kelpie is known to come out of the water like a beautiful stallion. And as a young woman approaches him, he sheds the tear. She wipes the tear. She is now under his spell. As he leaps from the sea onto dry land, his coat and mane will remain damp with weeds in his hair. Kelpies will lure children towards them and then once on their backs will take them off. Let me tell you a story of the children that go off with the Kelpie. One day, while some children are playing, a Kelpie lures them up onto his back. His back grows as each child gets up onto his back. They are stuck. Kelpies are very adhesive. These children cannot move. The last child is just touching him and his hand becomes stuck. So he gets his knife from his pocket and managed to get his fingers off and free to see his friends disappearing with the Kelpie into the deep water. He hears their screams, but they are gone. The story of the lonely Kelpie looking for love that lived in the Outer Hebrides. He shape-shifted into a handsome man to help him win the heart of a woman that he wanted to take as his wife. The girl he's trying to woo recognises him as a Kelpie. So when he goes to sleep, she removes his necklace, which is his bridle in human form. When he wakes up, he's back as a horse. And the girl decides to make him work on her father's farm. He works on the farm for a year and a half, hard labour. And then she decides to take him and visit the wise man. The wise man tells her to give the necklace back to the Kelpie. Now back in his human form, that she first knew him, the wise man asks him, Kelpie, do you want to remain as the Kelpie or would you rather be in your human form? And the Kelpie says, yes, human form. He then asks the girl, if he remains in his human form, would you like to marry him? And she says, yes. So they're happily married. And this story has a lovely fairy tale ending. Kelpies can be captured. If you remove the bridle from a Kelpie, he will become yours. And that's how Kelpies get captured. In the form of a horse, they are incredibly strong and great at building. The McGregor clan are said to still have a bridle from a Kelpie when a long, long time ago, the horse was put to work to build for them. The Kelpie's incredible strength was great for lifting the heavy stones that would build the castles for the clan. But there was a heavy price to pay because the Kelpie would leave a curse on all the family members and future generations of the family for years and years to come. When the Kelpie's bridle was safely back on his neck, 
he issued this frightening curse. Sir Back and Sir Baines, carrying the lard of Murphy's stains. But the lard of Murphy, he'll never thrive, as long as Kelpie is alive. The Kelpie legends are well known again because of Harry Potter and the Falkirk Kelpies. Here is Andy Scott, the sculptor, with the two magnificent Clydesdale horses, the models for the Kelpies, Baron and his pal Duke. The verse from Robbie Burns, Address to the Devil. The Kelpie legends are so interesting. Next time you're by the lock or the lake, See what's lurking in that water, in the shadows. It could be a kelpie.